Hey everyone, it's username Evil Tig. Um, I wanted to shoot a quick video, kind of giving an update and showing off some stuff. I'm going to title this video Coolest Neighbor Ever. Okay. As everybody, well, most of my subscribers know that I live in the middle of nowhere, deep in the woods, and uh, we're thinking about moving. So I've been getting rid of a lot of big furniture. So coffee table's gone. All I have is this box that has winter clothes in it that we may not need to take with us to um, Texas if we move. But anyway, I wanted to, you know, we got this, I put some videos up, what I found at Goodwill or whatever, but, and I have more things my neighbor has done for me that I want to put on video, like uh, this drill he gave me, it was awesome, but I could go over to my neighbors the other day, and this guy is awesome. Now, granted, I've done I've been doing stuff for him, like uh, giving him odd end things that I had I didn't need, like a, a plow for a tractor. I didn't really put much value on it because I didn't have a tractor anymore. And, and uh, but he's so nice. He's like, "Yeah, are you into cameras?" I'm like, "Yeah," and I had this camera with me, this GoPro. I'm like, "Yeah, I love cameras, man." And so he's like, "Oh, do you like vintage vintage cameras?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." So let me show you my cameras. So first he shows me uh, the um, this SLR KS500 by Sears. You know, this jewel here with the lens. And uh, I put batteries in it and some film and it works great. Let me focus with it up. So yeah, this this camera is like really, really, really cool. Um, I've been taking pictures with it, and I'm gonna get them developed. See how they look. It's got a 135 millimeter lens on it. It's made by a company I can't pronounce the name, but in Japan called R I C O H. In Japan for Sears. Looks really cool. Old, you know, has a light meter built in so you can see it through the viewfinder and set your speed and your aperture you know it's it's really trick when you pull this back it's basically on everything works and then i've already advanced the film so it's ready to take a picture i'm not going to fire it off because i don't have anything to take a picture of now but he gave me this thing with the manual and the lens are you kidding me that right there was cool enough but it gets better it gets way better okay so then he said, oh, and he gave me the flash to that camera. He gave me this cool flash. Look at that flash. How cool is that? Oh, vintage flash. <clears throat> okay, so, and the cases are all perfect. There's no blemishes, marks, rips. Yeah. Okay, so we got that. Then, this was the coolest. This this is a, well, you can see the picture over there, but first I'll show this. Then he's like, oh, do you need a light meter? I'm like, actually, I've been looking for a light meter. So he's like, here, I've got an extra one. I'm like, are you kidding me? And it works. An old vintage light meter. So I'm like having a blast because this stuff is, I'm into old cameras too, you know. So I got that gave me that and then when he showed me this he said have you ever seen one of these and I said well I know I haven't and it says Roly 16 on it or roll I 16 depending on how you want to pronounce it and uh, it's got this cool chain but uh, check that camera out how cool is that Here's your shutter button. Here's your little thing to wind the film. All right. And then here's where you set your aperture. That has a Carl Zeiss lens in it. You grab here on the bottom, this little nub, and here. And you got your little viewfinder. And when you, after you take the picture, and close this and open it again, it advances the film. A little light meter. A little uh, 
range thing, you know, however many feet away the pitcher is going to be, all the way to infinity. I mean, that thing is crazy, right? <clears throat> but it gets better. He's like, oh, I found they had the flash for it, too. So I'm just going to put this on first try. Yep. So it has the flash for it, too. I was all excited. He's like, I want you to have it. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I got to pay you something for this. Because this is nice. These are the people that made the Roll Flex or Roll I Flex, however you want to pronounce it. And um, he's like, no, 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 no. I want you to have it. I was like, okay. So, but it gets better. Let me take his flash off. I'll put it back. It even gets better. He's like, you can still find these on eBay. He said, but what people are looking for that already have the camera, or what they're looking for when they buy the camera, is this, the lens. There's a wide angle lens you can buy for this thing. And look at that case. That case is like brand new. This is from the 50s. Look at that lens. You take the camera. line the black dots up and boom how sick is that that is so cool yeah a wide angle lens on that thing I mean I was happy as I would have bought this if I could find one you know um, I wasn't even looking for them I didn't even know this camera existed but if I if I would have known it did, and I could, st you can still get film for it. It's, it's old stock film, but you can still get film for it at a decent price. So I'm gonna get some film for it and try and take some pictures with it. To open it, there's a little button here and a little flange. You gotta sl push the button down and then rotate it around, and then you can open it up, and it's like brand new inside. It's crazy. I'm just moving it up and down to see where I can make sure at one point it's in focus. And then when you close it, you push that little button in again and turn that. And when you look through the viewfinder, there's a little green dot that'll appear. There's no battery in it. It just has to do with how much light you're letting through, I guess. Right amount of light, you get the green dot. <clears throat> all the pictures that I saw of it online were in brochures it uh, it didn't have this metal lanyard it had just had this one and this one's attached here but I like that metal one so I'm going to leave it on now it goes it gets better it gets better it really does let's see let me zoom in a bit focus All right. So he had the manual in German and the manual in English. And when I start going through the manual, reading up on it, all right, I get to the back, and there is the handwritten receipt from Photo something Dusseldorf, the Photoshop where the guy bought it from. This serial number matches the serial number on the camera. He paid over 704 whatever German. It was 175 US. He put he made a note at the bottom. <clears throat> so I got the receipt to the camera, the lens, and then there's another receipt in this one. Some stuff he wrote down. There's some other receipts here for for I think the um, flash maybe and then a copy of the other one so the guy kept all his documentation and this is from the 50s the date on it was um, just a five there but couldn't make out the rest that's 50 something so I'm looking online I'm thinking oh man this is so cool I should get some brochures for it I start looking through here well, what do you know 
a brochure on the uh, oh, let me zoom back out. Oh, you see my feet now. Let me zoom back in a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is that cool? It's got uh, a brochure on the camera. And then there was this brochure. And this one actually opens up and shows you all the, the roll of cord and everything. They were being sold at the same time. I'm a uh, roll of flex or roll eye flex. Not sure. I've heard it pronounced both ways. And on the back of the brochure, there's the camera I have, the 16, with a note made. So I got the brochures. Uh, not all of them, there were more brochures, but I don't need them all. I just thought it was cool, you know? So, how cool is my neighbor? It almost makes me feel bad that we're thinking about moving because. I finally got a neighbor that's actually, a, I mean, a cool cat. Not because he gave me something, because he comes over and he's an electrician. And if we have little electrical problems in the shop or the house, he's right there to fix it. And he knows what he's doing. Um, but this one's cool. I've been using this. So that's my um, my cool neighbor. And, um, of course, I'm looking around for something I can give him, you know, to... Because I feel like he's he's telling me the the work that I've done in the metal shop on the lathe, it would have cost him hundreds and hundreds of dollars to have it done, and and he appreciated my help and everything. And I'm thinking, no, I'm just doing it to be nice, you know. And it's not taking me that long. Um, but there's the video. I'm gonna do another update update video soon on this whole moving thing. We still have three days left to find out if the house and land sold. If it did, <clears throat> excuse me, if it did, I'm gonna have a ton of videos. Packing a shop, packing a house, packing the Harry Potter stuff and all that good stuff. And showing the new house and so on and so forth. And our adventure on the drive. So keep a lookout for that. Everyone take care.